why this is the season when we all have to apply our minds. It is always said that those with a strong mind need to guide those with a weaker mind. Or those with a strengthened mind need to exercise their ability and leadership to guide those whose minds need to be strengthened as well. What does this time mean to you? The season of the coronavirus. We are on day one of the 21 days of lockdown. As we all know, if something gets locked in and locked down, it means that it's for your protection. When you take something and lock it in, you want to keep it safe. And when you lock it down, it means that there is an amount of restraint that you would have experienced from the subject. Hence, you feel the need to lock it down. It's for its own good. It's for its own preservation. But the fact that the word that is being used at this time and in this season is locked down, it means that there is some observations that our government have made. Not only in South Africa, but globally. It means that there is some resistance that has been observed. And as a result, our government took a decisive step to do a lockdown. Because they already saw how other countries like Italy, like France, like China, how they have been behaving around this coronavirus. Therefore, our government took a step that is well calculated and well ahead of us as citizens to protect us. Annihilation of populations is the most painful thing. If you have ever watched the Ice Age, the process that people go through there, then you will understand. The process that animals go through, you will understand. Now our government is doing everything in its power to take care of us, to protect us, to protect our economy. Yes, a lot of people are going to be suffering because of the lockdown. Businesses are collapsing. People's mental faculties are collapsing inward on them. There are people who are scared to hear their own voices, to hear their own thoughts, to be in the same space alone with themselves. But look at this time as a time of reflection a time of growth, a time for you to heal and repair your own thoughts, your own life, a time to redirect the trajectory of your life. I know a lot of people who say, for instance, are freelancers or are self-employed or are job seekers each and every new day. When you talk about freedom of movement, it means to them that there is hope. But at this moment, then it feels like they are locked out. But actually, if you take out this time to re-strategize, remember a lot is going to happen. A lot is happening already. And sadly, people's ignorance and impunity shown towards all the rules and regulations that have been activated, even going to our constitution, the preservation of life, the right to life to others and to yourself. It's amazing what people are getting up to. But all I wanted to say is ask yourself, what is it that this time is offering you? Is this a time for you to reflect? Is this a time when you are being given tools from a higher place to re-strategize your trajectory? What changes can you make? What is it that was not up to your satisfaction that now you can 
repair. Let's make reparations towards ourselves, our sanity, our hearts, our spirits. Most of us, we do not even give ourselves time to just take it easy. Take this time as a self-care time. It takes 21 days to adopt something new. It takes 21 days to adopt a new habit. Set it out there. Put it out there. Who knows? Probably this is the time that the universe is granting you so that you can put into action all those things that you've been putting aside. Yes, some families at this time, there are going to be challenges. We pray for those who are in abusive relationships who are going to be stuck with their abusers. May the divine creator be there for them. But who knows? Perhaps this is the time when they will realize how strong they are. They can make decisive means to get out of those abusive relationships. Take this time. Take care of yourself. Stay good. Stay blessed.